Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise. In this exercise, we are going to write a C Sharp program that reads the current time from the user in uh, HH and MM format, an hours, two digit hours, two digit minutes format, and displacement in minutes, and calculates and displays the new time by adding the displacement. Well, that's a little confusing, but this is an example. Let's say the current time is 2.37 p.m. And so it is given to us as 14.37 because again, it's in 24 hour format and 14 hours is 2 p.m. in 24 hour format. Now, when we add 30 minutes to it, then the current time, uh, uh, when we add uh, 30 minutes to the current time, then the new time will become 15, which is 3 hours, 3 p.m. 07, because 14.37 plus 30 minutes is 15.07, or basically 2.37 p.m. plus 30 minutes is 3.07 p.m. Or another example, when we add the 1,200 minutes, which is 20 hours, to a time uh, of 10.00, 43 a.m. So that actually stays as 10.43. So when we add 1200 minutes, then the new time will become 6.43. Again, it's going to be a.m. because it's 20 hours on top of 10.43 a.m. So basically, basically, we will be adding the minutes that the user enters into a time that the user enters as well. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to ask for the input. So we will do our console dot right line or just right. So the user can enter next to our line and we will ask enter current time in HHMM format. And we will capture the format. It's going to be a string. Uh, so we will capture it into a string called current time. And that's basically going to equal to whatever the user enters. So console.read line. We will read the line. And that's going to be passed into our current time variable of string type. Now we ask user to enter the minutes that he or she wants to add. So we will do console dot write and we will ask enter the amount of minutes you want to add. And that will be an integer because it's a it's a number in minutes, but uh, and I'll call it minutes to add. Now, it's integer is the variable. However, the input is a string. So we have to do our convert dot to integer. And we will do the console dot read line. So whatever the user enters, we will read it. And we will convert it to an integer and store it into our minutes to add. Now, in this exercise, I'm not going to do any input checking. So if the user enters invalid input, the program will crash. Uh, but obviously, you can validate the input if you want to. But in this exercise, I just want to show you how to do the logic for adding time together uh, as, as the exercise uh, demands or requires. So now we have, a, we have a current time. Now we have the minutes to add. Now the current time that the user entered is in HH semicolon and MM format. So we can split it. The HH will be obviously the hours and we can get the minutes as well. So if the user entered, let's say over here, when the user entered 1437, 14 will be the hours and 37 is the minutes. And because it's, we have it stored in a string, in a string uh, variable, we can use the split function of C sharp. So we can do our string array 
called total time because it will have the hours and the minutes and we can do the current time dot split and we can split it by the character of the semicolon like that so now we have an array with two uh, elements the element 0 holds the HH in hours or in, in this case it would be 14 and the element 1 holds, holds the minutes which is in its case would be 37 so uh, now we can uh, have a variable of integer called current hour this is the time that the user entered this is the hour that the user entered now again this is a string so we have to convert it to integer so convert that to integer and we are converting the array total time but not the whole array we converting the element zero again it has two elements, 0 and 1. 0 holds the HH and one element 1 holds the minutes MM. So we can do the same for current minutes and we will do convert that to integer total time element 1. So now we have the hour and now we have the minutes. Now, now we can actually perform the calculations as uh, required. Now we can uh, add the minutes to our current time. So let's do calcu calculate new time hours and minutes. So first, let's get the uh, future minutes. Now we have our current minutes, but we have to add the minutes. Remember, the user wants to add. We have the minutes to add. We don't have the hours to add. We just have minutes to add. So if the user entered 12, uh, 1,200 minutes, that's actually 20 hours. If uh, the user entered 30 minutes, then that is 30. We just add in 30. Everything over 60, like if user entered 65, so basically we are adding one hour and five minutes so let's uh, get the minutes first and to do that we are going to use mod because mod will uh, mod uh, like that will accommodate for the 60 minute cycle so we will do mod 60 in our calculation which uh, Accommodates for 60 minute cycle. And what we're gonna do is gonna we're gonna create a variable called future minutes. And that will basically equal to whatever the user wants to add plus our current minutes. So let's do that. Let's do the uh, current minutes and we will add the minutes to add however if user and let's say user entered time 14 37 and wants to add 1200 minutes we don't want to add we don't want to have like 1237 minutes in our time like 14 and then 1237 we have to make sure that we only get the minutes and not the hours and that's where the mod 60 comes to play so let me show you uh, let's do calculator so let's say user entered 65 so that's one hour and five minutes we don't want to have 65 minutes we want to only add the five minutes because the 60 equals one hour and one hour will be added to our hours not to our minutes so 65 mod 60 equals 5. Alright, so this is the whole idea that we are excluding the hours. We are converting only the minutes from uh, basically uh, 0 to 59. 60 minutes is an hour. So that's why we have it mod 60. So now we can do similar integer future hour 
and again we can we can add all the minutes together with our hours but uh, remember this is a 24 hour cycle so we are going to use uh, mod 24 to accommodate for 24 hour cycles otherwise we could we could end up with uh, like 27 hours and 47 minutes or something like that so uh, again we are going to do current minutes we will add the minutes to add but now we need to only get the actual minutes so again uh, we cannot use mod for that because uh, let's say user entered 65 so 65 minutes we only want to grab the 60 and convert it to hours which is one 60 minutes is one hour so if I do 65 divided by 60 I get 1.08 something so now think about what's going to happen here the future hour variable is an integer so when, since it's an integer the calculation uh, when it's a division there uh, will only return the integer portion of it in other words it only uh, will store one it will disregard everything after the decimal point it's not gonna round it or anything it's simply gonna grab the integer portion of the number so when I do current minutes plus minutes to add and divide it by 60 I'm going to get uh, let's say current minutes uh, let's say current minutes is 30 uh, let me so it's 30 current minutes and we want to add 35 minutes all right so we and I got 35 so we're gonna get 65 that's the calculation here current minutes plus minutes to add and divided by 60 is gonna give us one because that's one hour so uh, that's our calculation for our for our hours but uh, we get one and we have to add it now to our current hour just like we added it to our current minutes over here current minutes plus minutes to add but we didn't have to add uh, add the hours because hours are handled separately so this was uh, this calculation is gonna give us in this example one and we're gonna get, add that one hour to whatever current hour we have and current hour is the hour that the user entered into the hh now however again remember this is 24 hour cycle so what if what if we, we had a uh, i don't know 23 hours in a current hour so we add one hour oh uh, what, what's what if you had 23 hours and uh, we added another two hours to it we would end up with 25 hours altogether 23 plus 2 would be 25. so in order to avoid that i'm gonna put this into additional parentheses we have to use the mod again 24. so if we have 25 hours again let's say let's imagine that the current minutes and minutes to add would add two hours and we have uh, 23 hours in our current time so that's 25 hours so 25 and mod 24 equals one so in other words it's gonna be 1 a.m because it will be one one after 24 which is after midnight so it's gonna be 1 a.m so uh, let me put a comment here uh, the current portion of the the integer portion of the division gives us whole hours then add them to current hours and use I'm gonna put it on a new line use mod which is the percent symbol 
for 24 hour day cycle just like we did 60 for the 60 minute uh, cycle there so we have our calculations and now we can do the output new time format it to uh, hh mm and to do that it's simply console dot right uh, right line and we will do something like new time is and this is gonna be our hours uh, placeholder and this is gonna be our minutes placeholder so we will simply add the uh, future future hour but we put it to string because now we can do in a uh, parentheses we can do to format it to two numbers so in other words if the time is one o'clock it won't be just uh, one it would be zero one so uh, that's our future hours and we will also add the obviously the future minutes to string again if it's like one minute it would be zero one instead of just one so again d2 to format it properly all right so this is the whole program so now let's uh let's test it with the with the values they want, want us to use as an example over here so let's add the formatted uh, uh the current time is 14 37 and we want to add 30 minutes so we should get 1507 and there it is new time is 1507 yeah, i said us but it's supposed to be obviously is now if i do if i do uh 10 43 uh, our current time and we want to add those 1200 minutes we should get uh, 643 according to the example and we did 0643 so that seems to be working correctly now let's try let's try something like um 23 hours and 55 minutes in other words five minutes to midnight and i'm gonna add five minutes so that should give me zero 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 that should give me a midnight and there it is so what if i try 23 55 and i gonna add 65 minutes i should get 1 a.m basically one o'clock so let's add 65 minutes and there it is new time is one o'clock so this is so it seems to be working correctly and uh, i guess this concludes the exercise so uh, if you liked it uh, if it was helpful please uh, leave a like leave a comment share with your friends and i will see you in the next video take care